The Guardian's grown from being a British newspaper to being one of the largest English language news sources on the planet. Guardian products work across the entire globe, but we're really keen on taking this even further. We're extremely excited about the growth in space travel and space-based tourism, and our UX engineering and design teams here are now looking at how we can take the fantastic experiences you find on Earth and get them to work even if you're not on Earth, if you're in orbit, if you're on the moon or on a trip to Mars. Whilst testing our designs on Earth, we developed a system called Astro UI. We've brought this into all of our UX flows. The gloves of the extravehicular mobility unit are much larger. We needed to design some new icons, floating action buttons specifically, and we used the updated material design guidelines for this. Another challenge in space is gravity, or the lack of gravity. Using the principles of motion, we created a system called Fixed Point View. No matter which way the phone is orientated, the articles, the videos, the images will automatically align to the viewer. There are regular Android APIs that are very helpful in spaceflight. One in particular is the text-to-speech API. In space, there are times when you can't easily look at a screen, so Read It To Me is especially useful. Astronauts can then have an article read in their helmets when they're on the moon, for example. The testing is really important because we need to understand what works and what doesn't work in space. In the Google Play Developer Console, there's a new feature called Hangout with Expert. Hi, hey, this is Captain Mark Kelly. How do you guys hear me? This allows us to have face-to-face -face access anytime with a space beta tester, either on the Earth or in space. Being in space is a bit like being underground. Sometimes the data is really expensive and sometimes it's not there at all. Our APKs are as lightweight as possible so that they could be really easily installed. Then when they are running, we cache as much content as possible. Innovation sits at the heart of what the teams at The Guardian do, but it's all for a purpose. That purpose is getting our journalism into readers' hands. And now those experiences extend not just everywhere on Earth, but beyond it as well. Android and Google Play are part of us achieving that.